Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So apparently Google is testing a new feature in Chrome called prefetching, which basically loads pages in the background before they are needed, seemingly making the page appear to load faster. Now this isn't something new, as you may well know. Windows 11 uses various versions of prefetching. So does Windows 10 to so-called speed things up. And even some Office apps use prefetching. And prefetching is already used in web browsers to some extent or the other, including in Chrome. And this is not a default feature and it's hidden behind two experimental flags in Chrome Canary, which is an early preview version. So it's still in early stages of testing. So just to show you the flags, if you are testing features and would like to enable it, if I head to my experimental flags page, and we just type in prefetch. Here are the two flags. The first is bookmark bar prefetch. If enabled, bookmark bar can trigger prefetch. The second is new tab page prefetch. If enabled, new tab page can trigger prefetch. And then obviously once you've enabled those, you just restart the browser to apply those flags. Now, just a quick recap, because this isn't the first time that Google has tried something similar in Chrome. And in the past, they were trying out a feature called pre-rendering, where an entire web page was loaded in advanced. Now, this did make things fast, but it also consumed memory and sometimes triggered parts of a site before you actually visited it. Now, the difference with the new updates starting with bookmarks, is the browser now prepares bookmarks when you hover and it boosts page loading so sites open faster or appear to open faster once you click. And then the second part regarding the new tab page is that when you hover over the plus button, the add button for a new tab page, Chrome already starts getting parts of that page ready before you decide to open the page. And basically what it's doing, it's preparing once again the new tab page in the background so it feels instant once you click. And I think what Google's trying to achieve now with these two new flags and these updates is that it's trying to get a balance between speed and obviously the usage of system resources, which I think has been an ongoing battle with Google and the Chrome browser. Now, just to compare this between Canary and the stable. So let me just launch the stable. So I'm going to open up a new tab in the stable. Now, obviously, this is not available as yet in the stable. So that's a new tab. That's pretty quick. Okay. Now, granted, I do have a couple of extra features running that I don't have in the stable because I always have all the features enabled in Canary browsers so I can spot new features and for the purpose of this channel, but let's launch a new tab page. Okay, I would say that is a little bit slower, but as mentioned, there are extra features running. So basically at the end of the day, I don't know how much difference it's actually going to make or feel as though it's making. Because there's a lot of um, different things to take into consideration. First of all, what features you have enabled in the browser, your internet speed, and obviously the types of sites that you are going to be opening because some sites have different a lot more components to load in the background compared to others so there are a couple of different factors taken into consideration so the feature is now available in the canary browser and at the end of the day i think google is intending to make chrome feel more responsive and reduce the time you spend waiting for pages to open with getting that balance regarding the amount of system usage and resources that the browser is actually using. So I'm going to keep my eye on this one. And obviously, if I get any more info, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.